Today we're going to make these really simple little wire wrapped shells. I've got two different designs here. One's got the upside down V shape and the one on the right has a few more wraps around with wire. I've got two very similar scallop shells here and they're about four centimeters by four centimeters. I'm going to start making the first design with a little upside down V. So for this one here and my four centimeter shell, I'm just using about 10 inches of the 20 gauge dead soft silver wire. The first thing I do is just to start to make a bit of a bail there. So just leaving a small tail at the end of the wire. Then I start wrapping it around my round nose pliers and I'm just bringing it around two full times to make two full loops there. It makes a nice strong bail. Then with that little tail on the end, I just bring that around to the other piece of wire and crimp it down nice and tight so it wraps around and holds that little wire secure. Once it's crimped down nice and tight, you should have a nice secure little bail there. You can just check your loops and straighten them up, make sure they're sitting nicely. This first one is really quite simple with the upside down V. You can see these shells already have lines down them, so the idea is that the wire is going to sit down in the grooves there. For the upside down V, you can see where the wire is going to sit from the middle point there with the bale. But I actually start on the back of it and just hold that bale up in the centre of the shell, just a couple of millimetre over the top of the shell there and just bringing that wire down one side to form the upside down V. Then we can bend or fold our wire around onto the front side as well. Then you bring the wire back up to the centre, so up to where your bale is sitting so that it can meet up with that bale. You wanna just make sure that your wire is sitting down in one of those grooves. Pulling it nice and tight as well and pushing the wire down making sure it's sort of hugging the shell. Then you just bring it up towards your bale there nice and tight to have it meeting up with the bale at the top centre there so that you can secure it onto your bale. I just bring it around two full loops around that bale, makes it nice and secure there. Then we're going to bring the wire across to form the other side of the downward V. You want to now just make sure that the wire is sitting evenly. So bringing it to the point on the other side of the shell where it's going to be a nice symmetrical design. So mine's probably about there. Making sure that your wire is nice and flat and tight, sort of close to the shell. And I can gently fold that wire around the back of the shell. So it's an upside down V on the back of the shell as well. Now I'm just bringing this wire back up to the bale to meet up there and we're going to secure it in place. Just wrapping it nice and tightly around the bottom of the bale as well. Bringing it around one or two times until it looks nice and tidy. Then you can cut your tail off and crimp it in so it's nice and tight. I just take my little pliers now and work with the whole design, making sure that your bale's nice and straight and the loops are round and sticking together, sitting how you like it. And also this shell should be really nice and secure in there. If it's not, you're going to want to redo it because you might lose your shell. Hopefully it's all nice and tight and there's your first little upside down V simple wire wrap. The second one needs a little bit more wire. I'm using about 15 inches for this one. Just measuring that out and cutting it to length. Then we start this one the same as the other wrap as well by making the bale first. Just leaving a little tail straight at the end there. We just start by wrapping it around our round nose pliers. And we're wrapping it around to form two loops. And then we can bring this tail around the other piece of wire and crimp it down nice and tight to secure the bottom of your bale. Now there's no real set design for this one here. We basically just need to secure our shell in the wire. 
So I start with just holding the wire in the centre at the middle there, just a couple of millimetres above the shell, and then bending the wire across to the right hand side. And from there I just fold it around the back and bring it up to the left there. And then I bring the wire around again, sort of parallel to the first wire. Then just up to the top. And then I'm going to bring the wire across to the other side as well. And just do a couple of wraps across that side. You want a couple of different wraps in different directions just to be pulling in towards the middle and holding that shell secure. It's up to you how many wraps around you do. I like to sort of do two each way but they don't have to be perfectly parallel. You can do two one way and one the other. You just have to have a situation where the end of your wire meets up with your bale at the top. So it's gotta be coming up the back side of your shell. When you're happy with the wrap, just bring the wire up to meet up with the bale in the middle, and then you can wrap it around the bottom of that bale there to secure it in place. Just wrapping it around a couple of times and then you can cut your tail off nice and short and crimp it down nice and tight so it's nice and tidy and there's no sharp pieces. Then with your pliers you can just tidy up all your wires and make sure your wire wrap is sitting how you like it. Your shell should be nice and secure in there, it shouldn't have any movement and your wires should be all wrapped around nice and tightly. And there's your super simple wire wrapped shells.